Oh, what is up everybody? It's your boy Akimbo Pickles here and I'm back with another video guys. Hope you guys have uh, enjoyed the last couple videos that I put out. I really appreciate all the, all the subscribe or subscriptions that I've gotten so far and the, the likes and the subscribes. It really helps out uh, quite a bit. Um, and if you haven't done so already, hit the like and subscribe button. Really appreciate it. Um, just like the video, just like the title of the video says, I'll be home for Christmas. Um, I've worked on this plan for a little bit. I was trying to find loads getting back to the house. And let me tell you something, that's not easy to do. That's not easy to do to find loads going back to the house. I didn't, ma it, and it really didn't matter anyways. Even if I had to deadhead two or 300 miles, I still gonna get home. That's just all there is to it. That's just all there is to it. Um, but I got this this uh, load going from uh, from Illinois back to Georgia. Uh, I've been up here in Illinois for the past few days. Um, I got a load coming out of Mississippi. Uh, coming back up here is a light load. Matter of fact, both my last loads were real light, under seven thousand pounds. Um, and then, of course, my last load going back to the house is going to be a monster, forty-four thousand pounds. Well, that's what the that's what the uh, the load information says, forty-four thousand pounds. It, it may be a lot less than that, but uh, and hell, it could be it could be more than that. But you never know. Uh, it just says household goods and forty-four thousand pounds. So we'll see. We'll see how it all plays out. Um, but man, I'm gonna tell you something right now, guys. Freight. I'm a little disappointed in freight right now. Um, I haven't been a truck driver long. And just from my perspective, I can see why freight is the way it is. And a lot of people are going to blame it on the economy and stuff. And part of it is the economy. Matter of fact, that has a lot to do with it. But something else that has a lot to do with it is there's too many drivers on the road. Too many drivers on the road. And not enough freight. Now, here's another thing that... that and, and I say this with the kindest regards to, to my buddy. Uh, he, he says that, you know that uh, Schneider load boards there's two separate loads board for board for Schneider you know I don't believe that I think there's there's one single load board for Schneider and even the brokers get to choose off that load board so by the time you get to it by the time you get to that load board there's nothing left on there but bone fragments not bones but bone fragments and I personally believe that the that the uh, the freight brokers and, uh, and and all these drivers, these foreign drivers that have no purpose of being on the road at all, because most of them are damn nuts and crazy. Uh, I think that that's a big problem. There's too many drivers and not enough freight. Now, another thing that kind of, kind of, you know, irks me about Schneider load boards is that, and and this is public knowledge now, Schneider load boards you get sixty five percent of each load that you get. So you pick the load off the load board that the, the amount that you see that's what you get, and that's sixty five percent of whatever it is that you're getting or whatever it is the actual load actually costs. Schneider's taking 35%. Me personally, I don't think it's right. Uh, and there are a lot of companies out there that will pay you more. And eventually I may go to one of them. Uh, 
But I told him that I was going to give him, I was going to give him, you know, a, a second chance. And so far, I mean, I've, I've made a little bit of money here or there, and it's not too bad, you know, not too shabby. Um, I could make a lot more. Uh, if I really wanted to, I could make a lot more. Um, but I got to push it. I got to push myself to make more. Uh, that's, that's the biggest thing. Um, and, and I'm gonna be I'm gonna be honest with you about something else too. There are a few people out here, and this this don't just this just doesn't apply to uh, Schneider. It applies to other companies too. The people out here that are um, you know they're they're making videos as well. And you know they're they're trying to get views and stuff, and they put false information out there, or they use clickbait to get you to click on their uh, on their videos. I'm gonna tell you, I don't use clickbait, and I believe everything they say. They 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 put something on on the video to get you to watch it, right? They put like a like something on there, some keywords on there to get you to watch the video. You watch the video, and then the video has nothing to do with what they what they put on there. And I've been seeing that a lot here lately. And anybody that does that will lie to you about how much they're making. I ain't gonna lie to you guys. I ain't gonna do it. What was it last week? Last week, I thought I was going to be negative. No shit. I thought I was going to be negative $120. Uh, sorry, guys. Got to blow my nose. I thought I was going to be negative $120. I ended up getting $300 because they put, on this, on this past week, they put the amount that I spent in fuel, they put it on this load, or this, this week's load board, or this week's, uh, settlement statement instead of uh, last week's. So I wasn't negative to $120. I actually banked 100 or banked 300 And then this week right here, uh, I'm short $300. If it wasn't for the fact that I had that, or the amount of, I think, what was it? $120 and then this week right here, if it wasn't for the fact that they gave me $300 last week, I would have had about $1,100. Yeah, $1,100 this week uh, net. So, I made money. Um, and it was fine, right? I don't think they like you. They don't like you. Uh, they don't like you going negative. You know, that looks bad on them. You have to make something in order to pay your taxes for the for the for the week. You know, you have to make some sort of money. Well, if you ain't if you make a negative amount, well, you can't take net you can't take taxes out of a negative amount. So, I mean, it is what it is. You still made money. It's just you can't take taxes out on that. Um, and I always take my my net amount out of my or my. I always take my taxes out on my net amount, so whatever I'm bringing home, I always put about 30, well, probably a little over 30% back into taxes. Uh, and that's another thing that's coming up too, tax time. And then of course, uh, I got an oil change, and I did this, I, the reason I did this, because I don't have to worry about it when I come out of home time. I got my oil changed, and I got the DOT, the three month DOT inspection on the truck. And of course it passed with flying colors. Uh, but, but yeah, so I mean, You're trying to make money out of here, but you ain't, you know, you're, you're, I mean, you're making a little bit and it's not that bad. And a lot of people, 
are really butthurt about the fact that you know to be honest with you okay let me let me just put it this way to be honest with you it really doesn't matter how much money I'm making right now um, not to me anyways it's the experience that I'm trying to gain all right and as long as I've got experience I go anywhere and that's that's the big thing right there so these companies you know when they when they're looking for people to come to their company they're looking for people with experience you know a lot of them are. Uh, do you think they probably like training people no they probably don't really like training people that much at all they would rather have somebody with a little bit of experience than have to train somebody from, from scratch unless it's a company that says well you bring over too many bad habits from from another company uh, you can't be doing that over here so we're going to train you how, how we do it well a lot of companies are like that a lot of companies don't want you know they 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 want to they want to mold you from from clay you know they want to mold you from the beginning and make you drink their kool-aid and that's the thing you know i i didn't drink the orange kool-aid like everybody else did even though I, I'm, I'm back working for Schneider, or working, not for Schneider, but with Schneider, even though I'm back working with them, doesn't mean I drank their, their, their orange Kool-Aid. Just like I didn't drink Prime's purple Kool-Aid. You know, I didn't drink their Kool-Aid. So, I mean, yeah, I went over there expecting more, more pay, and if they would have had me running every day, yeah, I would have made some money. I'd have made about seven, eight thousand dollars a damn week. Gross, maybe more. But when you're sitting on a load for thirty-six hours, and you can pull a damn thirty-four, thirty-four hour reset off of them, off a of load, unless unless you wanted it now. If you wanted a 34-hour reset, that would have been fine. But if you're pulling two 34-hour resets in a week, nah. You can't be doing that. You can't do two 34-hour resets in a week and make money. You can't do it. You're saying, well, two loads, you know. I'm saying two loads at $2,500 a load. Let's say you had two loads a week at $2,500 a load. That might be something. If you're only hauling two loads for $2,500, that's enough to cover your truck payment, fuel, and, uh, yeah, truck payment, fuel, and have $2,000 left over. This is just an example, guys. It's not numbers. It's not actual numbers. But there's not too many loads out there that I've seen. I mean, yeah, I've seen some pretty good loads from, from, from on the Schneider load board, but they're all going through the damn Northeast. And I'm tired of going through the Northeast. I really am tired of the Northeast. It's time for me to go on and stay down South. I may go I may go up there and then cut back across over to Ohio or something and then come back down that way. Just like this time, this next next couple of loads that I'm gonna be done. Be headed a different route. But the whole purpose of the whole purpose uh, is to get home for the holidays, get home for Christmas, and uh That's my whole thing. Getting home for Christmas. Uh, so, I guess I'm just going to go ahead and end the video here. Uh, like I said, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. It really helps out the channel. And, uh, yeah, 
I'll see you guys after the holidays. This pro this video will probably come out. I'm thinking I may put this video out Christmas Day. So you guys get this video Christmas Day. I'll go ahead and say it right now. Merry Christmas, guys. And um, hopefully your New Year's or your New Year's resolution. Hopefully you guys meet those. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. All right. Come out.